Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about is our special thing that we had, the funniest men in America, which the world, the world, funniest men in the world. And, uh, people have heard about it. You may have talked about, it. I don't know if you've ever discussed it with one of us. Well, first of all, well, all it was, was a group of, uh, of, of friends who got together, uh, on every new year's Eve for, for a good long run, like new year's 20, day, new year's day so who, for like who was 25 the official thir- group. It was Mark and me. Mm-hmm. Larry Miller, Jerry Seinfeld, and our friend Michael Hampton Kane, who is no longer with us. We had a couple of sit-ins over the years. Once. Bill Maher was there. Bill Maher once and Middleman. Middleman. And we realized, you know what? This is not an expanding group. This is the group. <laughs> so you remember how for the first time we did it? Because I do. I do. Yeah. It, was, it was, well, it was, it was because we all found ourselves with nothing to do on a New Year's Day. And we said, let's have brunch. We were all at the club at the comic strip. We had nothing that we realized. We have no life. Yeah, we have nothing, and we we have said, no let's have brunch tomorrow. Yeah. We had no girlfriends, no life, nothing. So we had lunch, and also comics would always, you know, we we are the entertainment for people who have something to do. So we're <laughs> right. all there on New Year's Eve, and people are spending a lot of money. Well, right. we're going to see the New Year's Eve show. We're the idiots. We are the New Year's Eve show. We got nothing to do. Um, so, so we, we went to a place called Yellow Something. It was um, you have to say green or green or not green kitchen, green pastures or was it green something? Or? But it was like it wasn't fancy. It was just no. a, a, yeah. A, yeah, and we had such a great, we were just laughing and drinking and we just had a great time. And one of us said, let's do this again next year, I think. So, right. 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 And then it started escalating. We would go out to a fancy place and then we said, well, let's get a limo, which none of us could really afford. But we'd get a limo and champagne and smoking cigars. And we just it kept getting bigger and bigger. And then the person that kind of earned the most money paid for the limo and then the next one paid for the, the meal. Uh, it was always Jerry. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was and even then. It was like, well, let's see, four hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, three hundred thousand. Yeah, 